What is up everybody? It's Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. Have you missed me? I've missed all of you guys. But anyways, <laughs> a lot of you who follow me on uh, like Instagram and Twitter, you know, I, I haven't gone anywhere. I've been, I've been here and I've mentioned it before. By the way, if you're not following me, make sure you follow me. And also, before we get started, my little backdrop might like be doing some wavy stuff because I have my ceiling fan on because I'm in Las Vegas where I live and it's like oh, over 110 degrees, all right? But anyways, I don't know how long this video is gonna be. You'll know because when I post it has a little thing, but I just wanna tell you uh, kind of what's been going on if you haven't been keeping up and uh, what my plan for the YouTube channel is, I think, all right? Um, I have something set in stone, but the other part I'm not sure yet. But anyways, sit down, relax. If you need to, pause it, go get yourself a, a cup of coffee or an iced tea. Just relax and let's talk for a little bit. Uh, but yeah, anyways, anyways, um, I, I, I love making content. Like I just, I can't stop. I can't just sit still and not, you know, write or make videos or uh, do, uh, you know, podcast or, you know, whatever it is. So anyways, this year I kind of, um, planned on focusing on my writing. As some of you know, I've written some, uh, I've self-published some like uh, mental health books, uh, addiction recovery books, my experience uh, with everything that happened in 2019 and all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, I was gonna focus on my writing, but yeah, I've been reading an insane amount of books. And and yeah, I'll, I'll get to kind of what I started doing with that in a second. But anyways, for those of you who have been around for a while, like you know, uh, I'm in recovery, right? I've struggled with depression and anxiety for most of my life. And yeah, uh, as long as I stay sober until next Wednesday, June 23rd, I will be celebrating nine years sober. No snorting nothing, no drinking nothing, none of that stuff. And I'll also be turning 36 on that day, it's my birthday. So yeah, what I, what I wanted to really discuss in this video and uh, the future of this channel is like, I've been thinking about this a lot. I've been planning on making this video forever. I'm just like, how do I put this into words? But anyways, mental health and my recovery is still my number one priority. All right, for anybody who's in, you know, uh, uh, sobriety, like, you know, like it, ha it has to be like our top priority. Like I have to make sure I stay sober or I lose my job, I lose my son, I lose my beautiful girlfriend Tristan, I lose all these things. So yeah, even though I'm not making content and I haven't been fully focused on like mental health content, mental health is my top priority. But anyway, something I've been thinking about like doing some content around is, since I've stepped back from like mental health content and things like that, something I noticed, and this is just me personally, me personally, just Chris, you might be able to relate or you might, you know, want to take a look at stuff going on, but uh, as you probably already know right now, I'm not your therapist or anything like that. It's just something I've reflected on. But anyways, I for years now have been 1000%, 1000% in mental health and addiction recovery, right? And part of it is uh, a lot of us when we get sober and we go, uh, you know, I got sober through 12 step programs and stuff like that. It's, uh, it's, you don't forget about this or you are going to start going down, you know, uh, a path towards relapse, which I've seen happen a million times and everything like that. But I'm a guy who goes to the extremes and like, I don't, I don't want to relapse. Like I almost died, you know, uh, nine years ago before I got sober. I had like, you know, uh, a 10% chance of living. I had congestive heart failure. I'm still going to the cardiologist because my, my heart is still healing nine years later from all the drugs and alcohol I was doing, right? So the last thing I wanna do is go back down that road and relapse. So I, I made mental health and addiction recovery my, my everything, right? You know, I worked in treatment. Every book that I read was on mental health. All I did was, you know, talk with people about mental health. I was the guy that everybody would come to, you know, uh, if a friend or family member was struggling with a, an addiction or if people were struggling with depression and anxiety. And I still love doing that. But something I kind of noticed you know, during the pandemic, I wasn't able to like go to in-person meetings as much, um, you know, uh, talking with my therapist and everything like that. I just started reflecting and I'm like, I was wondering, I'm like, wow, I'm like, I'm feeling almost better than I have in a while. 
even though I'm making my mental health a priority, I'm not making it like 99% of my day, right? So I'm not constantly reading books on anxiety, depression, addiction, suicide, all these other things, right? Like it's still there and it's still something I'm uh, taking care of with myself, but I'm not consuming that content. I'm not watching, you know, uh, all these like documentaries on like, you know, uh, mental health and addiction and, you know, uh, watching a bunch of mental health YouTubers and everything like that. And I still watch those things. Like, don't get me wrong. I still watch those things. I still read studies and uh, keep up to date with like mental health statistics and treatment and everything like that. But I've, I've rebalanced it a bit. And personally, I think it's, it's been helping my mental health because I haven't been 1000% in it. And I hope that makes sense. I don't know if any of you can relate to that. You know what I mean? But sometimes we, you know, when I think, I think this is just my theory after like reflecting on this stuff is just with so much of my uh, time and focus dedicated on mental health, everything was being th seen through that lens, right? So for example, if you, if you do nothing but read books, articles, and watch, you know, YouTubers or whatever, and it's all about depression, right? You're gonna start seeing everything through the lens of depression. Your entire bubble is depression. Like, how am I not depressed? Everything I'm consuming is about depression. So you start believing that, you know, this is that thing, right? And trust me, like, I still have my ups and downs. Like, you know, I have like my off days where I just don't wanna do anything and I gotta, you know, uh, do uh, the things that help me get out of that funk and like get to work and stuff like that or spend time with my son or my girlfriend or whatever. But anyways, since I've stepped back, I'm not seeing everything through that, that lens, right? Like something that, you know, I, I know I've struggled with in the past is sometimes it's just difficult to just be okay right? Not everything is, you know, this mental health catastrophe, you know? And since then, like, I can't even, I can't even explain it, but this, you know, this is, this will go into, you know, my next topic, I guess, of the future of the YouTube channel. Like, I might do some more mental health content because I, I haven't been feeling, uh, anxious in a while and I have a generalized anxiety disorder that was one of the main reasons I drank and used opioids was to calm myself down and my anxiety has been like really really under control like it's been under control of like you know somewhat you know for a while since like developing different practices and taking my freaking mental health medications and doing therapy and meditating and all that but I've noticed in recent months it's been even better and um you know, depression, it's always something that just comes and goes and you know how, you know how crazy depression be. But anyways, I've noticed I've been feeling better. So I'm thinking about doing some more content around that. I don't know if it's like YouTube videos. I've been doing blogs every now and then on my website, therewiredsoul.com, if you guys aren't checking that out. Um, but it's just on different topics. But anyways, so I'm trying to figure out what kind of YouTube videos I'm, I'm gonna be making. So, one type of video that's gonna be coming out, some of you might love it, some of you might hate it, some of you might leave or whatever, but like I, I built this thing over like, you know, two or three years, I don't wanna just let it sit here and I'm still actively making content. So uh, if you leave, I will miss you, but I'd like if you stayed and check some stuff out because uh, like I've mentioned, like I read hundreds of nonfiction books a year. I'm constantly, constantly reading and educating myself. And one reason is because it has been one of the most beneficial things for my mental health. And here's why I think that is. So some of you have seen videos I've made in the past on like uh, REBT, Rational Emotive Behavioral Therapy, right? And it's about looking at your thoughts, right? Like rationally. So for example, uh, you know, there's just a very like dumbed down version of it, but my brain, uh, my depression is telling me, uh, Chris, you're no good, you're not good at anything, right? Everybody hates you. And then I like, I, I kind of debate with that voice and like, okay, well, you know, I am good at this, I, I do have a job, I, everybody can't hate me because, you know, my girlfriend loves me, my son loves me, my family loves me. You know what I mean? You kind of have this debate. So that's, that's kind of what rational emotive behavioral therapy does when you work on it with a therapist or like anxiety, you know, how anxiety is like, oh, if this happens, it's gonna be the end of the world, I'm gonna die, da, da, da. It's like, well, you know, if this happens, it'll suck, but I'm not gonna die. Well, anyways, it's really about taking a step back, 
and reflecting on your thoughts, analyzing them and kind of having these debates. Uh, some cognitive behavioral therapy is about changing these thought patterns. Well, anyways, for the last couple of years since, uh, since the, the, the whole thing happened with my YouTube channel, uh, as some of you know who have been around here for a while, um, I've been really trying to understand people and human behavior and, you know, uh, our cognitive biases and the thinking errors. And that's the, the main thing that I like to read about. I like to read and understand, like, uh, you know, through psychology and philosophy and other things, like, why do, we, why do we think the things we think? Why do we do the things we do? Why, right? And that's what I love reading books on. And what I've noticed is, is that's helped me out with my mental health a ton because going back to REBT, it helps me sit back and kind of reflect on my thoughts and really think about things. And I've, I've slowed down so, so, so much. Like I used to be constantly go, 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 especially like in my, you know, addiction. And then when I got sober, I was still go, go, go. Some of you remember, like I used to make two to three videos a day, right? And, uh, and yeah, I've been slowing down so much more. Uh, I've enjoyed books on like analyzing like risk and things like that. So like before I make like a big decision, I sit back and I really think through it, you know? Um, some things that got me in trouble in the past was just sitting down and making content with the first thing that's on my mind. You know what I mean? But now uh, for the first time in my life, I've slowed down and really started thinking about it. Um, something else I, I've, I've done this year, uh, in case you haven't, noticed but um at the beginning of this year i i made it a goal to exercise every day eat better and stuff like that and i'm down over 40 pounds this year <laughs> all right uh and i'm pretty proud of myself um we're halfway through june and i have literally exercised every single day i haven't missed one day my apple watch is like you are killing it chris um but i've been reading books about you know uh uh, you know, just not, not, I don't want to say dieting, right? But just like books on, you know, the body and how food, uh, you know, affects us and different things that affect like calorie burning and stuff like that. Something else that I've started to do for the first time in my life is manage my money. I have been terrible with my money my whole life. I could do a whole separate video on that, but my, my mission has never changed, which is to be of service to others. That is the primary thing that helps me with my mental health and helps me stay sober. So I want to continue helping people and, you know, uh, do that through sharing this knowledge. Because, like, I know a lot of people don't sit down and read all these books that I'm reading. So I like to take it and teach people what I've learned, right? Like that's what my, my YouTube channel's kind of always, always been about. I've referenced like different scientific studies and everything because I like to learn about that. So anyways, anyways, I won't keep it too much longer. Don't worry. What I've done is uh, a couple months ago, back in like April, I sat there and I was like, Chris, you are reading hundreds of books. You, uh, you are connecting with all these amazing authors. And like, I don't even like, like they're authors, like they're, they're, great, amazing authors, but I almost feel like that takes away from like the work that they do. Like a lot of the uh, authors who I talk to, they're also like professors, all right? Uh, you know, um, they are researchers, they're experts in their field. Um, they're great thinkers. They're people who, you know, have a ton of experience in whatever their, their niche is. Um, and one thing that helped me get sober and stay sober was learning from people who are a lot smarter than me. So while reading all these books, I started connecting with these authors and I'm like, I, I get so many questions and I know some people don't wanna read all these books. I'm like, what if I started talking to these authors? So for those of you who haven't been following me on social media, and this is your next reminder, follow me at The Rewired Soul on Instagram and Twitter. All right, and my DMs are open. Like I still talk to a lot of you, uh, but yeah, follow me because I always post when I have new podcast episodes. But like, check it out, check it out. I, I don't know, maybe I'll put it up on the screen. But um, I've been doing the podcast for about a month and a half now, 
and we're covering so many crazy topics, like great topics. Like the first episode I did was with Stuart Ritchie and his How to Spot Bad Science, which is so important right now when we're talking about COVID vaccines and like we don't even realize how many scientific studies we come across on a daily basis telling us what to eat, what medications to take, what therapies to do, you know. So many things revolve around science and there's a way to kinda uh, look at things with skepticism while also trusting it, right? Um, I also talked to Jillian York. Uh, she has been a social media activist and she wrote an amazing book called Silicon Values. And uh, I got to talk with her. I talked with an expert when it comes to debunking conspiracy theories. His name is Mick West. And recently he's been doing a lot of content around debunking all the UFO stuff that's been going on. He was on my podcast. I talked to Michelle Walker. Uh, she is, uh, she, she does a lot of content and writes books on assessing risk and that's really helped me with my anxiety. I talked to a Duke professor named uh, Chris Bale who wrote a book, Breaking the Social Media Prism. I talked to Brian Portnoy about uh, the psychology around investing and saving. I, I've, I've talked to so many cool people. That, that is only like the first four or five episodes and I've been doing two, two episodes a week lately because I, I talked to so many authors, but anyways, yeah, I just try to ask them, you know, questions that I think people can benefit from, you know, and, and they're all such important topics. So I hope you guys enjoy that. But what I was getting at, and one of the reasons I'm making this video is I'm going to start posting the podcast on here. So check it out. Check it out. I know three minutes ago I said it wasn't going to be much longer. I promise. I promise I will let you get back to your life in just a minute. So anyways, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start uploading the podcast episodes here. And uh, <laughs> I don't know if I want to give away my secret sauce of how I've been recording these. But anyways, um, a lot of them will be audio, uh, just straight up audio. So like I know I've, I've listened to podcasts on YouTube sometimes. So some of you who want to do that, um, there are a few. There are a few podcasts I've recorded where we do have video too. So in those cases, like uh, Brian Portnoy, I also um, interviewed another professor and philosopher named uh, Andy Norman. That was video. So I might upload a few videos, but a lot of it's just gonna be straight up audio. But again, I just wanna get content. Like I'm doing a lot of content. I wanna get it here on the YouTube channel. I might sprinkle in some other content in between. Um, so if any of you have, uh, any suggestions or anything you guys want me to talk about when it comes to my mental health, when it comes to, you know, me, you know, losing weight or when it comes to learning how to manage my money at 36 years old. I'm teaching my son now. He's only 12 because I don't want him to run into the same situations as I did. But if there's anything you want me to cover, like I just like learning things and teaching others. That's just the cycle. I learn, I teach others. I learn, I teach others. I want other people who are curious about just everything. Curiosity is just so interesting and there's always stuff to do. And yeah, I read a ton of books, interview a lot of cool people. So stay tuned. That's it. Um, yeah, I just want, I just had to do this. I've been thinking about doing this video for weeks now, had to sit down and do it. And if you made it until the end of this video, you're amazing. And I probably haven't told you that lately, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. Make sure you're following me on social media, at The Rewired Soul. If you have any video suggestions in between, um, you know, like I don't go crazy with editing so I can knock out videos. Sometimes I wanna sit down and write a blog and then I don't, you know, so maybe a video would be easier, but there's so many things like, you know, that I learn about and it makes me think and question and, you know, I wanna talk about them or things that are helping me in my life. So anyways, anything, just leave comments. Let's, let's chat or connect with me on social media. My DMs are open. Uh, and I'll link, you know, the podcast and everything like that down in the description below. But like, uh, if you're new for some reason and came across this, subscribe. That'd be pretty dope. And yeah, uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to upload the first uh, podcast episode. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it like daily just to get caught up. But anyways, just stay tuned and follow me on social media. You won't miss it. Oh, glad to be back, baby. But anyways, thanks again for watching. I'll see y'all real soon.